Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about ischemic heart disease or myocardial infraction in pregnancy. So, the trend of having ischemic heart disease in pregnancy is becoming increasing, okay, day by day because of the increased maternal age and obesity. Increased risk in multigravidas, the woman who smoke, women with diabetes mellitus, obesity, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia. What is acute coronary syndrome? In acute coronary syndrome, as, uh, as happen in non-pregnant patients, the troponin level will be higher. Okay? So, troponin level does not change by pregnancy. So, again, it can be used as a test. Most common period will be postpartum period. Remember, the myocardial infection is very common in postpartum period. So, you know the, uh, the importance of postnatal ward because in pregnancy hospitals, in maternity hospitals, the postnatal ward is the ward which is ignored by doctors and the staff very often. So, this thing is very common in postpartum period. So remember this thing. The maternal death rate is around 10%. Okay. Now, what is the management? Angiography should be done without any doubt. Whatever the pregnancy is there, you should go for angiography. Percutaneous coronary intervention is also welcome. Aspirin should be continued. Beta, beta blockers should be also continued. Statin should be not used because they are teratogenic. So I think this is all about uh, the brief discussion of ischemic heart disease or myocardial infraction in pregnancy. Thank you friends.